While Dorothy's been in Oz, Aunt Em and Uncle Henry have kept busy repairing the damage the tornado had done to the farm. They've built a new farmhouse, and the new barn's nearly finished. Oh, how I wish Dorothy were here to see all this, Henry. Mm. Em, honey, let's not talk about Dorothy. It'll make us too sad. Hey? My stars, are my eyes playing tricks on me? Or is that Toto? Well, it sure looks like Toto, but it can't be. The tornado carried him off, too. Henry, it is Toto. It has to be. If it isn't, he's a dead ringer for him. And he certainly knows you. It can't be any dog but Toto. I suppose not. But where'd he come from? Who can say? Right out of the blue. But it's Toto, all right. He's come back to us. But alone. Toto, where's Dorothy? If you don't, Toto coming home alone like this just proves she's gone. The best thing for us to do is to get back to work and try not to think about it. Henry. Oh, Henry. Damn, don't torture yourself. Henry. Oh, look out there. Oh, do you see her too? Uh, but it can't be. Oh. It just can't be. Oh. Em, either we're both crazy or Dorothy's come home. And Em, Uncle Henry, I'm home, I'm home. Hello. Dorothy. Oh, oh. Dorothy, my little Dorothy. <laughs> The rest of that day, and well into the night, Dorothy told them about Oz and all her adventures there. So I clicked my magic shoes together three times and said, take me home, and it worked in a flash. Mm. Well, uh, that's quite a story, dear. Oh, I know it's hard to believe, but all of it really happened. It did. Anyhow, the magic shoes belong to the Wicked Witch our house fell on. And the Wicked Witch. Well, my goodness, quite a place, this uh, Oz. Yes. Why are you doing that? Just checking. There's no fever. You feel all right. I feel fine, Aunt Em. Don't worry. I'm not delirious. All right, Dorothy. Now tell me again. This place is called Oz? Yes. And it's nowhere near Kansas. And when you were there, your best friends were a scarecrow, a tin man, and a lion. Hmm. Dorothy, you can't really expect us to believe this. But it's true, Uncle Henry. Oz exists. Oh, if only Toto could talk. He'd tell you it's all true. He'd tell you that I'm not lying. He loves Oz as much as me. Now, Dorothy, no one's accusing you of lying here. But we'd better take you to see the doctor. Just to see if you fit your head and dreamed all this nonsense. I'm not imagining it. It's not nonsense. Every word is true. Hmm. About those magic shoes of yours, I only see one of them. One of them? Oh, that's strange. I guess it must have fallen off somewhere. I was so excited that I didn't even notice. Well, by golly, that's a shame. If you had both of them, you could show us exactly how you did it. Hmm. I must have lost it when I was running through the fields. Hmm. I'll have to go look for it so I can prove their magic. Oh, that can wait. Have some cocoa. We'll talk about this in the morning. Fine. That smells delicious. Ah, that's nice. Even in Oz, there's nothing like your hot cocoa. <laughs> I made up your bed. Off we go, young lady. It's just like my old room. Well, of course it is. I knew you'd be coming home. <laughs> At last, my own bed. Oh, it feels good to be home. Good night. I know it's hard for them to believe us, Toto. If we hadn't been there, we probably wouldn't believe Oz existed either. Somewhere far, far away, where a scarecrow and a man made of tin can walk and talk. And where there's a lion who once was afraid of his own shadow. Someday we'll take them there. 
fucking scarecrows at me. Henry, I'm worried. She must have hit her head. I don't know. She looks healthy enough to me. Maybe after a good night's sleep, she'll wake up having forgotten all about this Oz nonsense. I hope so. Let's just be thankful she's come back to us. Henry, when I saw her running towards us... I know, Em. It's a miracle. Lord, we thank you with all our hearts. Oh, Lord, thank you for returning our precious Dorothy to us safely. We've missed her so much. Amen. Sure did, Dorothy. And the house? Your aunt and Hill. Goodness. It seems like just yesterday the tornado swept me away. I left it with the munchkins. Hmm? The munchkins? Right. They live in the land of the east. I told you about them. Oh, of course. Those munchkins. Where are you going? The field. To look for that shoe. Come on, Toto. Look at all this corn, Toto. You know, it reminds me of the day we met Scarecrow for the first time. Remember? Oh, look! There's a Scarecrow here, too. How do you do, Mr. Scarecrow? I'm Dorothy, and this is my dog, Toto. Ta-da! Dorothy! Do I look different? <laughs> I should, <laughs> because now I have a brain! Oh, that's wonderful! At last, I'll be able to think. <laughs> oh, I wish you were here, Scarecrow. And Lion and Tin Man, too. I miss you. Dorothy. Hmm? Oh! Hello, honey. I brought you and Toto some lunch. Oh, thank you. Isn't this a fine crop of corn? Won't be long before it'll be time to harvest it all. The corn in Oz is a bit taller, and it's not green, it's purple. Huh? Oz has purple corn? Uh-huh. I first met Scarecrow in a field of corn. Oh, you did? Say, did you have any luck looking for that shoe? No, no sign of it, but I'm going to keep looking. I'll prove to you and Aunt Anne that Oz exists yet. I might even take you there with me. Sure, honey. Thanks for the lunch. Bye. Oh, she's fine. What? Are you? Oh, guess I'm puzzled, that's all. You'll think I'm crazy, Em, but... Mm. Well, I think she's telling the truth. About Oz, I mean. I think it just might exist. Henry, you want to believe her so badly she's got you believing in fairy tales. Mm, I don't think so. Just from the look in her eye, just the way she talks about Oz, she's not making it up. She was there, or I'm just an old fool. You're nothing of the kind. I don't know. It's just that I know Dorothy wouldn't lie about anything, and she isn't lying now. Okay, she's a little girl, but her word's as good as anyone's to me. Henry, I'm as tempted as you are to believe her, but a mythical kingdom full of witches and wizards? Mm -mm. I don't know what to believe. I'm sure we landed here, Toto, but I don't see the shoe anywhere. I hope it'll turn up soon. Oh my, it looks like rain. We'll have to get back. Magic shoe, indeed. <laughs> it's not 
not very likely the other one will ever turn up. And this one will just sit around gathering dust. Oh, I'll just throw it out. Oh. Better not. All set, everybody? Uh-huh. Yep. Oh, I can't wait to go into town. I'm so glad you're taking me with you, Uncle Henry. <laughs> well, I wouldn't dream of leaving you here. Last time we did, you were swept clean away by that twister. Besides, we have a wonderful surprise for you when you get to town, Dorothy. Oh, boy! Yeah. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. Absolutely perfect weather for the you-know-what that just came to town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should be a wonderful day for Dorothy. The Emerald City. What's it like, Dorothy? It's beautiful. It has this huge palace on a mountaintop. Were you ever in the palace? Yes, of course. First to visit the wizard, then after he left, I stayed there with Scarecrow. He's the king of Oz now. A Scarecrow king? Now I've heard everything. Oh. The wizard made Scarecrow king when he left. I was supposed to leave with him, but his balloon got away. His balloon got away, huh? Now do you see what I mean, then? How can you possibly think she's never been there? Mm -hmm. Oh! The circus is in town! Oh, boy! Is that my surprise? Yes, dear. <laughs> the circus! Look! A trained bear! Oh, he's so big! Second, Dorothy, you're going too fast. It's hard to keep up with you. Dorothy, come and sit down, dear. I can, Tan Tan. I've got to go talk to him right away. Dorothy! Uh, uh, uh. Don't you see? He can prove to you that Oz exists. Dorothy! Wait! I really believed her. But now, I'm afraid it's all too far-fetched to be true. Oh, well, maybe she'll come to her senses when that man turns out to be a stranger. I hope so. Huh? You can't go in there, kid. Show doesn't open till tomorrow. We're still setting things up. For all I know, there's a lion roaming around in there, and lions aren't exactly friendly. So go on now, scoot! Some lions are friendly, but anyway, I only wanted to see the wizard. He's a friend of mine, honest. Huh? Did you say you have a friend who's a wizard who's with the circus? Yes, that's right. He was here a minute ago. Well, a wizard, hmm? <laughs> sure, kid. We all know about the wizard around here. We're all in this spell right now. We're all frogs. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Mr. Wizard. Huh? Mr. Wizard. <laughs> no, Mr. Wizard, wait. <laughs> There's someone else who thinks that Quackbot's a wizard. Gosh, maybe he is. <laughs> it's me, Dorothy. You must remember me. Why won't you say something? Uh, look, um, I gotta go. No, please, wait. Huh? At least tell me you know who I am. 
Oh, I know that, Dorothy. Then why are you acting like this? Uh, acting like what? Hmm? Like you're scared of me. What's going on around here? Hey, Mr. Wizard, wait! <laughs> you got a rabbit in your hat, Mr. Wizard? <laughs> Come on, Dorothy, let's go to my tent. <sighs> Sit down. Thank you. I'm sorry, Dorothy. It's just that I don't talk about Oz now I'm home. You see, no one believed me. They thought I'd lost my mind. They wanted to put me away. Well, I know how you feel. My aunt and uncle don't really believe me either. Can you blame them? By the way, I'm sorry about leaving without you, but you are better off in Oz. I drifted for weeks before landing in Kansas. Oh, dear. You were going to Omaha, not Kansas. You mean I could have been home sooner? Well, yes, but as I say, you wouldn't have enjoyed the trip. I don't know how I got here, and I don't know how to find my way back. But speaking of which, how did you get here? Glinda showed me how to use the magic shoes to get home. Oh. Lion, Timon, and Scarecrow took me to see her. <gasps> Toto, come out of there! Anyway, it was no picnic getting to her palace, but she made the trip worth it. Ah, oh, Glinda, the kindest person I've ever met. I'd like to see her again. Oh, would you really? Sounds like you miss Oz, Mr. Wizard. Are you sure you can't get back? Scarecrow would be delighted to have you live in the palace. Oh, if only I could, Dorothy, but I wouldn't risk it again. A hot air balloon is so unpredictable. Oh, well, I suppose circus life is exciting too, Mr. Wizard. Dorothy, would you please stop calling me that? As you know only too well, I'm not a wizard at all, and the workers here love to tease me about it. No, I don't talk about Oz, and I advise you not to either. It'll just stir up trouble. Hmm? What do you do with the circus? I'm the ringmaster. It's exciting sometimes, but not as exciting as Oz, right? Mm-mm, no, nothing's as exciting as Oz. Sometimes it's too exciting. These days I'm happy to be home. Oz, the only home I've ever had. I should never have left Oz, Dorothy. Excuse me, parade starting, Mr. Wizard! <laughs> Get out! Oh, see what I mean? Well, bye for now. I've got to go to work. I understand. I'd give anything to be back in Oz. I truly would. I miss it more and more every day. Ah, oh, well, who knows? Maybe someday, somehow, I'll get back there. Goodbye. Dorothy, just in time. Here, try this on. Oh, well, it's lovely, but... Dorothy, you're back. Did you see your friend, the wizard? Yes, but... But what, sweetheart? You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, dear. Come on, let's buy you some things. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Get your tickets to the big top! Come one, come all! First show tomorrow afternoon! Thrill to the death defy... Well, we're just in time to see the parade! Greatest tightrope walker! Chill to the roar of a man-eating tiger! I bought our tickets already! For tomorrow, Dorothy! Never again will you have the opportunity... The opportunity... To see so many stupendous acts under a solitary circus tent! Come one, come all! First show tomorrow afternoon! Buy your tickets while they last! First come, first serve! Should be quite tomorrow a show! Afternoon. Mm -hmm. Don't oh, miss the yes. show of a lifetime! Clowns! Strong men! There's the dance horses! <laughs> Easy, Emma! <laughs> Still no luck, Dorothy? No, but I'll find it. You know, we'd like to believe that Oz exists. Because if it did, we'd be able to visit it too. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Maybe all of us could even go to live there. Now hold on there, Dorothy. I said we'd like to believe in Oz, not that we did believe in it. I know, but I'll make you believe in it when my other shoe turns out. I'll believe in magic when that barn is built. Has to be finished while the weather holds, Henry. You hear? Oh, look at that. One egg. They're just not laying. 
I'll go out and give them a stern talking to them and see if they've been doing any better since breakfast. No, I'll go. You two keep planning our move to Oz. <laughs> I have to find that shoe so you both will believe me. And I want to see the friends I left behind. No, no, stop that. No wonder my hens aren't laying. <laughs> that dog's just full of mischief. My stars, I'll bet that's Dorothy's missing shoe. Same color, same size, has to be the one, all right. So that's it, Toto. You've been scolding the chickens for hiding Dorothy's shoe. Huh, magic shoes. Maybe now we'll be able to get Dorothy to see sense about this Oz business. Well, I found out what that running feud between Toto and the chickens was all about, Dorothy. Huh? Oh, my other shoe, you found it. Oh, you're wonderful. Let's go and get the other one. Oh, I hope there's still magic. There it is. They've got to work. <sighs> Only one way to find out. If they work, I'll go back to Oz and visit everybody. <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> We're going back, Toto. <laughs> Whee! And all I have to do is click the heel three times. <laughs> and say we want to go to Oz. <coughs> we'll go back just to say hello. And figure out how to get Aunt Em and Uncle Henry there later. <coughs> oh, boy! Lion, Tin Man, Scarecrow, won't they all be so surprised? <laughs> hmm. I think I'll click them together and see what happens, Toto. Mm -hmm. I could even make sure they work before we go for lunch. That's one click. What's Toto carrying on about? Is Dorothy teasing him? Don't know, but he sounds upset. Dorothy? Yoo-hoo! What's going on? Dorothy, where are you? What on earth? Yoo-hoo! Dorothy! Dorothy, where are you? Where is she? Henry, she's gone. Oh, Em, she couldn't just disappear. Well, she's nowhere I can see, Henry. But we both saw her come in here. It doesn't make sense. She must be here someplace. Did you look under the bed, Em? <gasps> em? Over there. Her shoes. Huh? Her magic shoes. But why were they under the bed? Unless Dorothy dropped them, and that's where they landed. <gasps> Henry, you don't think this Oz business could actually be true, do you? It must be, Em. You mean we've lost her again? Oh. oh, Henry, I don't think I can bear it. Oh, oh, my baby. Will we ever see her again? Mm hmm, but I don't know when. Oh, I don't understand. How could Dorothy go back? She said she needed the shoes for that, but they're still here. Well, she might have dropped them after she clicked the heels together. But that'd mean... Oh, that would mean she's stranded in Oz and no way to get back. I'm afraid so. Oh, Dorothy. Someday, somehow, she'll find her way home, then. I know she will. Hmm. There, 
looked scary enough to me. <gasps> huh? Do you mind? I was... <gasps> hey, I know you. Tip, that's your name. <sighs> and you're Dorothy the Witch. How are ya? A little confused. We are in Oz, aren't we? <laughs> of course we are! Where'd you think we were? I thought witches always knew where they were. Look, Tip, I'm not a witch, okay? And I've just come back from Kansas. You went home? That's far away, hmm? You told me a little about this place, Kansas, once, in the land of the West. But how'd you get home again? I used my magic shoe. Whoa, sounds like witchcraft to me. But anyway, don't tell Mombi. She'll try to steal them. She couldn't if she wanted to. They're back in Kansas. Oh, well, come on in. I'll show you what I'm making. All right, thanks. Oh, if only I put those shoes on. Well, you have to be careful with magic things, Dorothy. I know. I've seen some of the messes Mommy's gotten into. You're right. I was foolish. And that one mistake means I may never see my aunt and uncle or Toto again. Oh, you will. I'm sure. Hey, want to see what I'm making to scare Mommy with? upset and oh poor Toto. Goodness, Tip, what on earth are you making? It looks like some kind of scarecrow. You're close. It's a scare mommy. <laughs> <gasps> scarecrow, of course. Mm -hmm. Your pumpkin head reminded me of him. I'll go and see him as soon as I can. There we are. What do you think of him, Dorothy? <laughs> well, it looks pretty scary to me, Tip. Why do you want to scare Mombi? <laughs> Mombi loves scaring me just for fun, but for once, I'm going to scare her first. Ah, by the way, where is she? She's gone to trade magic tricks with an old sorcerer who lives up in the wilderness. I told you what she's like. Hmm. She's still determined to become a real witch then. Oh, she sure is, even though her tricks almost always backfire. Anyhow, let's see what I can find to dress my pumpkin head in. I'll need pants and a shirt. I wonder if Mommy knows enough magic to get me back home again. that I'm tricking him. <laughs> Mommy fooled by her own apprentice. That'll be the day. <laughs> Trip was worth it, though. Traded that old fool's a phony vampire venom for all the come alive honor I'll ever need. I'll use it to get rid of that ridiculous scarecrow king. <laughs> 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 Oh! No, I beg you, don't harm me! <laughs> My genuine lizard skin boots? Subtle for 
that's who. Dorothy! I can't help feeling I should know that name. Dorothy got rid of the Witch of the West, remember? <gasps> Since when did you start keeping such powerful company, Tip? You knocked off the Witch of the East, too, didn't you? I didn't mean to. My house fell on her. Hmm, I know why you're here. You think you can get rid of me, too? That's not true. I came here by accident just now. I'm supposed to be at home in Kansas. Huh? Kansas? Yes, and I want to go back. You're a witch. Could you send me home again? Oh, Mommy's not powerful enough to do that. I beg your pardon? I could if I wanted to, Smarty. Oh, you can? Well, uh, not this minute, perhaps, but with a little practice, why... Oh. See? Told you she couldn't do it. Mombi, can Dorothy stay the night? It's getting late, and I know she has nowhere else to go around here. Oh? Oh, why not? But on one condition. You teach me some of your magic tricks. Mombi, turns out Dorothy's not a witch. She's just an ordinary person. Speak when spoken to, you little busybody! Hmm. Not a witch. She's bluffing. No mortal could finish off the two most powerful witches in Oz. If I keep her close, maybe I can steal her magic. Of course you can spend the night with us, my dear. Jack Pumpkinhead. It's a perfect name for him. Yes, I just wish he'd stop calling me Daddy. Hey, can't you stagger any faster? You built him? What do you expect? You brought him to life. He doesn't call you Mom. Come on in, Dorothy. Hey, where do you think you're going? No pumpkin people allowed! Oh, Mommy, don't be so mean to Jack. Let him come in. Ah, he can sleep by the front door, I guess. Thanks, Mombi. No wonder he calls you dad, though. You're spoiling. <coughs> oh, what a dad. So what's Tip been telling you about me? Lots of terrible things, huh? You said you wanted to be a witch. But that, well, he said you weren't very good at it. Oh, sounds like my Tip, all right. <laughs> Did the little ingrate also mention if it weren't for me, he wouldn't be here today? No, but I've worked hard for you. What are you talking about? You're the laziest of bridges a poor wicked old witch ever had! Wicked old amateur witch? Is that any way to talk to your devoted longtime employer? Hmm, <laughs> Dorothy, I bet you're worn out. Would you like to go straight to bed? Well, yes, thank you. Dorothy's not the only one who's wondering how she'll get home. Well, I sure believe in Oz now, Em. But I'll never believe she went on purpose. She'd never have left Toto behind. Or are those magic shoes, Henry? Hmm. Won't be easy getting back, but maybe her friends can help her. Hmm. If only she hadn't dropped them. Not much we can do now. Oh, if only there was some way to get them back to Dorothy. I'd take them myself if I remembered how. I can't believe we've forgotten what she told us about those shoes already. Well, can't be helped. Yeah, I'm afraid she's on her own. Dorothy's not on her own. She's in dangerous company. Mombi's stirring up trouble. <laughs> Almost ready. One little sip and goodbye tip. Little goody two-shoes, teach her to go around way. 
wiping out wicked witches! <laughs> Much later. <gasps> Dorothy, she's gone! <gasps> and come to think of it, I don't see Tip anywhere either! Tip, where are you? Answer me! Uh oh, he's gone too! They're both gone! Ah! But they took Pumpkinhead with them! Why? Why would they leave me alone? Ah! And I wanted to turn them to stone! Oh, they'll be! Where should we go? Dorothy and Tip have decided to head for the Emerald City to ask Scarecrow for help. But Mombi's hot on their trail. Now, which way do I go? Ah, oh, ah, yow, show me where and show me how! No! I must have got the spell wrong again. It's wonderful. Isn't those beautiful tips? Too pooped to care, Dorothy. I wonder where we are. I wonder where Mombi is. Right. Have you any idea where the Emerald City is? None. But if we can't see it from this high up, it must be awfully far away, and there's no one to ask directions from. I guess all we can do is push on so Mombi won't catch up to us. Guess so, but we can't keep this up. We've already been walking the whole night long. How could you stand it being with Mombi for so long? I got used to her, I guess, and life with Mombi was never dull anyway. Oh. You sound a bit sad to be leaving her. Oh well, didn't have much choice. She's been getting more and more dangerous. We're both homeless now, but it helps having each other. Mm-hmm. You're right, Dorothy. You know, you're the first friend that I've ever had. Well, once we get to the Emerald City, you'll have another one. I'll introduce you to Scarecrow. You'll like him a lot. It's a deal. Thanks. Uh, Dad? Uh, what do you want? Well, I've been thinking about this name of mine. You have? Yes, and I want something nicer. Pumpkin head sounds so silly. Okay, what can we come up with? It should be unusual because you're unusual. But we don't want to go too far. How about Timothy? Timothy is a nice name, but let's keep it simple. Yes, oh yes, simple, just like me. <laughs> oh, oh, Dad! <laughs> Will you try to control yourself? Oh. Take it easy. So, simple it is. Any ideas, Dorothy? Hmm, not offhand. Hey, wait, how about something that he looks like? And he looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern? Sure. That makes it simple. Jack Pumpkinhead. It's perfect. From now on, we'll call you Jack. <laughs> I've got a name! I've got a name! I've got a name! Daddy, it's me, your little boy, Jack! Ow, put me down, pumpkin! I mean, Jack! Ow! <laughs> oh, this can't be the road they took! Wonder if I got that spell wrong again! I've been stuck in here for hours! I'm gonna try to get back to the other road! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
killing me and we're still in the middle of nowhere. It's true, trees, trees, and more trees. Hey, look, Tip. A sawhorse. Lumberjacks use them for sawing wood. Hop on, Darcy. Too bad it's not a real horse. That's right. We could ride to the Emerald City and Mommy would never catch us. No. Hey, just for fun, let's pretend it is a real horse. Okay, but first, we'll have to make it look like a real horse. Do horses have heads, Dad? Uh-huh. What can we use? They don't grow on trees, huh? <laughs> Actually, Jack, they do. Let's see now. Ah, we'll use this branch for a neck. And this log for a head that grew on a tree. Right, and now we have our pretend horse. It's wonderful. Oh, there's just one thing missing. There, now it has a tail. Well done, Dorothy. Just what does a horse do anyway? Well, Jack, a horse runs fast. And you ride it. Sounds like fun. But how come your horse isn't running, Dad? Is it sick? No, it's just not real. It's not alive, Jack. Wait just a minute! <laughs> huh? Oh, Tip, the Come Alive powder. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Are you sure you should? It could be dangerous. I doubt it. It seemed safe enough to me when we watched Mommy bring Jack to life. Do you remember the spell, though? You bet. I paid close attention. Well, if you think you can do it, go ahead. We'd be much better off with a horse. Right. Hmm. I think I was pretty clever bringing this with us. The powder! The brat stole my magic come alive powder that I need to conquer the Emerald City and later all of us. Oh, it's just not fair. The slave over boiling potions learns scores of evil spells just to have it all snatched away. <laughs> but I'll catch up to them. He's perfect! Try him first, <laughs> Giddy up, horse! <laughs> oh my, look at that! We'd better try and save poor Jack. Oh well, at least they're headed in the right direction, Dorothy. That's true! Hey! does not want to stop. But at least he's galloping straight for the Emerald City. I want my daddy, horsey. You were just supposed to drive me off, not Run away with me. Huh? Yeah! Who are you? The guardian of the Emerald City. The guardian of... You mean this is the Emerald City? We, we made it? Dorothy, Daddy... They're nowhere in sight. Uh, I hope Mommy doesn't catch them before you, they get here. I've seen some weird ones, but who are you anyway? Huh? Oh, I'm Jack Pumpkinhead. My dad's name is Tip, and I'm two days old, and... Cut the jokes, funny face. Why are you here? I'm not joking, and I'm here to get away from Mombi. We'll see about that. Is that a wood horse you got there? Oh, yes, he ran off with me. We were supposed to just go for a ride, but he decided... You expect me to believe he's alive, son? Now, what? listen, sir. My dad and his friend Dorothy need King Scarecrow's help. If you don't... Huh? Did you say Dorothy? You've seen her? Well, of course. But she went back home to Kansas, the good witch Glinda sent her. I don't know about that. All I know is she's on her way here with my dad. Dorothy's back in Oz. I thought she'd gone for good. She's all right, isn't she? 
Well, she was when I left her, but as I was trying to say... Hey! Save the speech for the king himself, pal! If Dorothy's back, he'll want to know right away! Follow me, honored guest! Oh, and if I've said anything to offend you, let's make it our secret, okay? Come on! But I can't see Come on! Well, I'll... I have to wait for the others! Oh, don't you worry about them! Soon as they arrive, I'll bring them up! Uh, here, horsey! Let's go! This may be the first city I've ever seen, but it's the most beautiful by far. We like it. Clean, quiet, good place to raise kids. The occasional witch problem, but nothing the king can't handle. I hope he can handle Mombi. How far is it to the king's palace? We've come a long way already. The king's palace is straight up there above you. It's the highest point in all of Oz. Look! <gasps> Tip's wishing the wooden horse had run off with him. Tip, are you all right? Oh, Dorothy, I'm so tired and hungry, I feel like I'm gonna faint. Can't you see the Emerald City yet? Come on, let's go look from the top of the hill. Oh, I'm too weak to get up. Oh, not so much as a crumb. Oh, I want a double Oz burger. Hang on, Tip, you can eat all you want once we're there. I suppose. You'd hate it if you had to sit on it all day, though. What? I thought kings got out a lot. Parades, wars, costume balls. Who'd have time to sit around? Hmm? I do. We live in peace. Munchkins don't like parades, and a scarecrow's always in costume. There's never a lively moment here. So I sit on my throne and try to look wise and wonderful day after lonely day. I'm bored out of my royal mind. The scarecrow won't be bored for long. Huh? Who's that? We Afternoon, ladies. Welcome to the Emerald City. What can I do for you? Why, you can surrender. We've come to take the city by storm. Uh, beg pardon, ma'am? We'd prefer not to hurt you, so be a good little fellow and throw in the towel. Yeah, but, but, now, wait a minute there. Is this some kind of game? If you can't be serious, go away. Ah, oh, but we are serious. Hey, come back here. You don't get in here till I <gasps> say it. Besides, it's that <laughs> Ladies, a joke's a joke, but where'd everybody go? Hey, come back here! <laughs> You're under arrest! They're going 
going to the palace, Dorothy. We have to get there first. Follow me. I know a shortcut. Well, life hasn't been dull for me. First, Mommy wanted to turn Tip and Dorothy to stone, so we ran away. But she's still after us, probably. Then my wooden horsey ran off with me here, and we were separated. Is that so? Yes. But they should be here soon. Unless they got lost, or Mommy catches up to them, or... Oh, what a terrible thought! Maybe Dad and Dorothy have already been turned to stone, and I'm all alone! Oh! Please, stop! <laughs> if Scarecrow knew what was going on in the streets below, he wouldn't be bored for long. Serious. Must be a very quiet army, though. There's only five of them, but they invaded during nap time. They're going to take all the emeralds and pass a law against laughing. You have to get the army. That'll be easy. I'm the army. <gasps> You're the whole army? Of course. We've never needed more soldiers. We've always lived in peace. Well, now you're at war. And it looks like Ginger's going to win it hands down. Oh, I'm tougher than I look. At the Oz picnic, I've been the one-legged race champ twice. So run along, I'll stop them. Well, all right. By the way, welcome back, Dorothy. <laughs> nice girl, but just as excitable as ever, I see. Quick, the throne room. <gasps> Scarecrow! <gasps> Dorothy! <laughs> oh, you're back! Oh, I missed you like crazy! I missed you, too. I was afraid I'd never see you again, but where's Toto? Back in Kansas, poor thing. Oh, Tip! You remember Tip. Mommy's apprentice. Mm-hmm. Of course I do. Welcome, Tip. Nice to see you. Tip's my daddy. He built me from scratch. I know. You told me. Oh, did I? Did I tell you how he made Horsey? Yeah, about 20 times. Hush, Jack! We don't have time to listen to you rattle on. We're under attack! What? It's true, I'm afraid. The royal palace is about to be stormed. Well, what do you know? Something's finally happening. We want Scarecrow! We want Scarecrow! We want Scarecrow! to see the king! We want no one gets in without an appointment. Sire, there are five loony ladies out here. They say they want to take you prisoner. That's Ginger and her army, Scarecrow. They do look dangerous. But we can't tell if they really are. <gasps> Why take chances? We'll nip this thing in the bud, Dorothy. Whoa. Oh, hope it's still here. Yep. I hate violence, but a king owes it to his subjects to protect himself. Ah, Maybe this will persuade them to leave us in peace. What? You want me to use that? Well, who else should do it? You're my royal guard, aren't you? Go out and guard me. But for heaven's sake, don't hurt anyone. Use it to scare them. Surrender, Scarecrow, now! Yeah, before we get nasty! Halt, ladies. Huh? Huh? I don't, don't, don't want to hurt you, but, but, but I will if I have to. <gasps> that pistol's real! I can say is if you chew the lady, you're no gentleman, sir. Oh, you never said they had a gun. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! 
something go wrong, like we get shot or break a nail or something? <laughs> oh, no. Don't make such a fuss. It isn't loaded. Heavens, no. Quinella, see if he's telling the truth. Hmm? Hmm. I suppose that sword you're wearing is harmless as well. Huh? No. But I wasn't going to use it. Why wear it if you're not going to use it? Yeah, take it off! You could hurt someone! Yeah, yeah, like one of us, for instance! You heard the lady? Take it off! Hmm. Ah, but it's just for decoration. Look, mm, I haven't had the thing out in years. Well... If I can't get it out, I can't hurt you with it, can I? Well, can't see anything, so it can't be loaded. Ah! Huh? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Save him! Honest, I didn't know it was loaded. I'd have never brought it out if I'd have... Wonder how he's doing out there. Maybe we should all just run away. That'd be great, but there's only one way out of here. Out the front door. Oh, well, maybe we should hide then, Dad. There must be lots of good hiding places in here. Here he comes. <gasps> he sounds pretty bad. Uh, 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 oh. Sire, I fought like a tiger, but they were too much for me. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Concentrate, Brain. Is there a way that we could make our escape? Mm. Well, we could jump out a window, but... What if we went to see Tin Man? He'd protect us. Yeah! Does us mean me too? Am I invited? Don't worry. We won't leave without you, Jack. We could try to sneak past them and run. But Jack and I are awfully slow runners. Mm. Hey, you could ride our wooden horse, Scarecrow. Hey, yeah! What he feels like, and he runs like the wind. Nobody would catch you on him. Well, come on, let's give it a whirl. We'll just try to ride straight past them. <sighs> He'll be out any second, girls. Relax. Wake me up when he comes. Why don't we go wait in the waving room? Yeah, there's couches in there. And a mirror, too. Fire's a mess. <sighs> Hurry, they're thinking of coming in. Right, you two better go. And remember, horse, this time you wait for us. How will you get away, Dorothy? We'll sneak past them while they're concentrating on catching you three. Let's hope they don't. Hold on tight, Jack. Here we go. Yes, I huh? You'd better travel disguised as one of the rabble. Oh, good idea. The crown is a little conspicuous. Best of luck. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Same to you. Hold on to your head, Jack. Right. <laughs> Now I've got 
about you, kitties? <laughs> What's going on? The gate's never left open. There's something fishy about this. Oh, oh. <gasps> Clumsy, oh, why don't you watch where I'm going? Serves you right, you old hag. Can't you see I'm tied up at the moment? Hmm. Look for me like you've been attacked. Me and the whole city by Ginger and her army. Very interesting. Hey, before you go, how about untying me? Hmm? Sorry, when it comes to knots, I'm all thumbs. By the way, have you let a boy and a girl in here lately? What's it to you? All right, you tell me what I want to know, and I'll untie you. How's that? Deal. Boy and a girl, you said? Yeah, that's right. And a character made of wood with a pumpkin for a head. Couldn't miss him. Oh, that funny kid on the horse who said Dorothy was back. Aha, they are here. Well, I haven't seen Dorothy, just that kid. Huh? Of course, she could have arrived after Ginger's army tied me up. I've been behind that open gate for hours. Yes, yes, that's it. She must be here by now, or I'd have seen them on the way. But a horse? Where would that clown find a horse? We oh! got stuck! Hey, you can't walk! Oh! 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 Please, horse, walk! We have to wait for Tip and Dorothy! Something worse. Have to find him first, though. Oh, just got it! At least loosen them. A couple of knots. What? Ooh, comfy. And my favorite color, royal red. Ginger, you think Scarecrow will come back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, think he went for hell? Oh, who cares? No one he knows is any match for me. Relax. Yeah, okay. Oh. I think they got away, Dorothy. Yeah. <gasps> Do you see who I see? Uh-huh. Right. Think she saw Jack and Scarecrow leave? I don't know. I just hope she doesn't see us leave. We better go before she tracks us down. Come on. Oh. All clear. <laughs> Did Scarecrow get away? I'm not answering any more questions until someone unties me. Oh, sorry. Of course I'll untie you. Did Ginger do this? Uh huh. They all tickled me into submission. But to answer your question, Dorothy, yes, the king did get away. On that wooden horse, ran like greased lightning. They're long gone by now. We'd better hurry if you want to catch up to them, Dorothy. I just hope they can get the horse to stop. Right, Tip. Bye, Guardian. We'll be back. Bye. Good luck. Hey, come back here, you two.
that crows would leave. It's tough to relax when you know they want fresh pumpkin for supper. <laughs> Go on, shoo! Scatter! I'll take care of them, Jack. Remember, crows are my specialty. All right. Break it up, you guys, or I'll scare you into the middle of next week. <laughs> <laughs> no respect. I'll get him when I try him. Scarecrow! Jack! Scarecrow! Oh, we found you at last. What happened? You're soaked. That horse of yours went for a swim with us on his back. Oh, dear, you're soaked through and through. Dorothy, I'm so waterlogged, I can hardly stand up. Oh, this is awful. That horse is a menace. Daddy, oh, Daddy. Jack, for the last time, I'm not your daddy. Anyway, how are you feeling? Awful. My pumpkin's so soft and squishy, I can't think straight. Well, you never could think straight, but let's see. You'll be fine. Oh. I hope so. Half that pond's still sloshing around my head. Scarecrow, you and Jack better stay here in the sun till you dry out. Tip and I could rest too. It's been quite a day. Right. I've never seen so many scarecrows in my life. Oh. Hey, girly! Who are you calling girly, Bat Breath? I'm an officer in Queen Ginger's army. Huh? Oh, I beg your pardon, Miss. <laughs> uh, might the queen be in? I must speak with her. Is that so? And what must you speak with her about? It better be important. It's so important, I can only tell the queen in person. <laughs> hmm, that old story. Come on. You're lucky. She's awake. That's good. Oh, great queen, greetings. I am Mombi, the great sorceress of the Northwest. By the way, Oz has never had a more beautiful ruler. Oh, thanks. You're honest anyhow. But why are you here? <laughs> I have come to offer you my services as your majesty's royal witch. And to prove my magic strong, shall I tell you where the scarecrow is? You mean you know where he's gone? Yes, you think my magic powers of intuition? I know he's gone to the Winky Kingdom. To the Winky Kingdom, where the Tin Man is ruler? Mm-hmm. Precisely. <sighs> the Tin Man is a great friend of his, and Dorothy's too. He will ask for his help. <gasps> yes, I'm sure you've heard of that brat, Dorothy. Uh, I met a Dorothy earlier today with a little boy. That's the one. She's powerful. She's destroyed two wicked witches so far. She what? <gasps> huh? <gasps> you mean she's the one who... Uh-huh. <sighs> Just my luck. We kick him out of his best friend's most powerful witch in Oz. You got it. Oh, darn it. We don't know any magic. Well, that's where I come in. Huh? Let's join forces between my magic and your army. They wouldn't stand a chance. We get rid of them and Oz is ours. <laughs> well, I hate to share with anyone, especially power, but I'd have to be crazy to tangle with a witch that strong. You've got a deal, Mombi. Good. For now, all I ask is that you make me your official royal witch, dearie. I do have a title, and we can settle how to split up Oz later. Fine. Hear ye, hear ye. As of now, Mommy is my official royal witch. <laughs> It's our turn to give the horse a ride. Huh? He'll never get up the stairs on that leg. All right. Oh. It's heavy. He probably thinks we are, too. <sighs> you hoo King Tin Man! Oh, the witch's castle looks lovely now. What a difference. Oh, look at the portrait up there, Scarecrow. Huh? The wizard <clears throat> giving Tin Man his heart. 
I remember that day well. He gave me my brain, too. Yes, and he gave Lion his courage that day, too, remember? How could I forget? All three of us had our dreams come true that day, but Dorothy had to wait a little longer before she made it back home. Yes, but now that I'm back, I can't wait to see Tin Man come down the stairs. Yes, sire, they're waiting in the throne room. I'll tell them you'll be right down, all right? Fine, want to look my best. Oh! <laughs> oh, my dear friends, welcome! Oh, I've missed you so much! Oh, Tin Man, we've missed you, too. <laughs> oh, it does my heart good to see you both. But where's your crown, Scarecrow? It's a long story, Tin Man, but we'll get to that soon enough. By the way, remember Tip Mommy's apprentice? He helped me escape from her in the nick of time. Of course I remember Tip and Mombi. She's nothing but trouble. But who are those two? The horse is... Well, we just call him Horse, and... My name is Jack. Well, how do you do, you two? Welcome to the land of the West. Goodness! You're not a real horse at all. You're a, a, a sawhorse. I had one like you in the forest when I used to chop wood. Didn't have a head, though, and it certainly wasn't alive. <laughs> But you are, aren't you, boy? How extraordinary! I brought him to life with magic powder. He's a fine horse, Tin Man, if you let him know who's boss. Well, never seen anything like it. Oh, dear, you need a little repairing. I can fix that in a jiffy. Oh, I hope you can fix Horsey King, Tin Man. Daddy tried, but he didn't do a very good job. It's so bumpy when I ride him. I'm scared I'll fall off and break my pumpkin. He got you here, didn't he? I'm not really Jack's father, King Tin Man. Please, call me Tin Man, Tip, and you can explain later. Now I'd like to hear this long story of Scarecrow's crown. What happened? Well, old friend, that's why we've come. We need your help. Hmm, sounds serious. The Emerald City in the hands of this General Ginger. And Mombi? Well, we'll have to free the city somehow, but I don't have an army. You don't? Oh, dear. I thought for sure you'd have an army, Tin Man. Not that I had one either, which is why I'm in this mess. Tin Man, Scarecrow says he was bored being king, but he was a good king. The people need him. Then the people shall have him. Oh, Tin Man, I can't ask you to help me if you don't even have an army. Stop it right there. Of course I'll help you. Have you forgotten our motto? You mean one for all? <laughs> and all for one, of course. That's what friendship's all about. Tin Man, that heart of yours is the biggest in the whole world. Well, with your brain and my heart and Dorothy here to back us up, I think Ginger should give up now. We leave tomorrow at dawn. What about Horsey? Can you please fix his leg before we leave? It's true. He needs a new one. He won't get very far in that. Of course. I'll fix it for him tonight. Now, why don't you all get something to eat and then get some rest. Tomorrow, we're off on a new adventure. Thanks, Tin Man. Well, Ginger's feeling better, but her army... is still bored. Oh, come now, girls. It's not my fault no one wants to fight us. <sighs> With any luck, Mommy will stir up some excitement. In fact, I bet she's stirring something up right now. <laughs> fiddle dee da fiddle dee dee Magical powers! Come to me! Good life. Fresh air, bird singing, and my best friends walking by my side. It's good to get out of the castle now and then. I agree. There's nothing like it for keeping the mind alert. Or for staying young at heart. Three cheers for adventure! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Tin Man, remember the last time we were here? We 
were surrounded by crows and it looked like a wasteland. Oh, a lot's changed since those days. Countryside's more beautiful now than ever, Scarecrow. So I see. In fact, I was hoping maybe we could have a picnic by a stream when No, it... not by water. I don't have my oil can. Why don't we find a nice field of flowers to picnic in? Not that any of us will actually eat anything except Dorothy and Tim. Sounds good to me. I don't like water either. It gets into my pumpkin and, oh, I just can't hold my head up. I don't know why you made me this way, Dad. I really don't. And to think we could have just left him behind. Uh -huh. But I couldn't have left the poor little guy with Mombi. Of course you couldn't. But speaking of Mombi, I wonder what she's up to now. Well, nothing nice. and the magic power, come to me! Come to me and show me what I want to see! God! Trying to stop Let's just get out of here. Right! With the sunflowers out of the way, they're soon back on the road to the Emerald City. Whoa, horsey! <gasps> huh? Goodness, what's wrong, Jack? Yes, what is it? Have you seen more flowers? Uh-uh, I was just thinking. If Mommy's magic's gotten so strong, maybe we should just let her keep the Emerald City and forget the whole thing. But Jack... We have to free the people from Mombi and Ginger, too. Uh-huh. So we must go on for their sake. But you have a point, Jack. We can't ignore Mombi's powers. I think we should work on a battle plan. Good idea. Hmm. I'll put my brain on it right away. Nothing yet, Scarecrow? Oh, 
try scratching your head. <laughs> oh, don't give up. What happened? Did you think of a plan? Hey, wait a minute. Something just came to me in a flash. <laughs> we are in the domain of my old friend, the Mouse Queen. And she said if I ever needed help, I should just call. Oh, I knew my brain wouldn't let me down. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Queen Mouse! <gasps> Was that... Yes! See, there she is again! She came! She sure did! Oh, well, we meet again! Hello! Hello, Your Majesty. Hello, and thanks for coming. Don't mention it. I told you to call me any time. You did save my royal life. Your Majesty, we need your help. Ginger and her army have taken over the Emerald City. We helped Scarecrow escape, but then a witch named Mombi joined Ginger. We can't fight them both alone. She's a problem, that Ginger. Attacked us once, too. Goodness, that army of hers, laziest girls I've ever seen. What happened, though? When she attacked, I mean, did she take over? Oh, no, we don't go for her kind here. Selfish to the bone. It's me, me, me the whole day long. Yes, but how did you stop her from taking over? I mean, mice aren't exactly big. Hmm. True, but we're far from defenseless. We do have our secret weapon. Oh, yeah? Uh, secret weapon? What kind of secret weapon? Huh? Oh. Uh, Oh, I get it. Uh, he's going to lead us to your secret weapon. Wrong! He is my secret weapon, Warrior Mouse! Huh? Oh! Mm -hmm. What else? What are you waiting for? Take him! He's yours on royal loan. Whatever you say, Your Majesty. Ginger and her army are scared stiff of him. Just sneak huh? him into the palace. Wow. He'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. My subjects await, so bye-bye for now. Good luck! Oh, but... Hey, Your Majesty! She's gone. Well, uh, thank you. I think. A mouse that can whip Ginger's army? Even in Oz, that's hard to believe. Think Mubby will try again, Daddy? Oh, yes. Mubby never gives up. Never. I was afraid you'd say that. Look, everyone. There's the Emerald City straight ahead. We made it. Hmm, this far anyway. Oh, when I think of that, Ginger, we're here, Warrior Mouse. We'll sneak you into the palace, but are you sure you're up to it? Don't want anyone to get hurt, especially us. Well, come on, everyone. Forward! Right before Mommy tries something else. Yeah! Whoa! Is it really that bad? That bad? It's worse, Dorothy. Those girls are weird. Laws against smiling and laughing, no nap time. Look at this. Instead of my spear, I have to hold this baby all day. Cute kid, but not much to defend a city with, let me tell ya. Hey, nothing personal. You see, Ginger's turned everything upside down. The women aren't allowed to do any work at all anymore. It's the law. Read him and we. It gets very confusing. Yes, so I see. Things sure have changed since I was king. Oh, sire, what I give to have you back? Midnight feedings, extra guard duty, it's torture. It breaks my heart to see the greatest city in Oz in such a sorry state. We share the work in my kingdom. Want to go fishing, Garfina? No, I'd rather go golfing. Whoa. Excuse me, sir. Why are you grumbling like that? Is it really so awful to take a baby for a walk? No, I like it. But Queen Ginger has put us under strict orders. We're to grumble wherever we go, sire. So we grumble. Hmm, and who's working the fields through all this? Working the fields isn't permitted. We can't leave the city. That's terrible. Why, if no one's allowed to work the fields, there won't be any crops to harvest. And without the crops, the people of the Emerald City won't have anything to eat. No, that's right. But tell Ginger that. She couldn't care less what happens to us, I'm afraid. Bye, sire. Bye. Mm. What a mess. Oh. Garbage everywhere. Oh. Disgraceful. Especially now that it's my job to clean up after those layabouts. Oh. Captain, hello. Oh. I've returned. 
But where's Ginger and her army? In the throne room, littering and loitering as usual. Oh, sire, it's good to see you. Dorothy, King Tin Man, welcome back, all of you. How I prayed for your speedy return. Ginger is making everyone miserable. But if you're going to do battle with her, sire, be warned, you'll need great powers to defeat her. Mm-hmm. But don't worry, we have a secret weapon. Hmm? Let's go. Right. expect me to go in there first, do you? Well, of course we do. It's your palace. You're the king around here. Show us you're worthy of the crown. All right, since you put it that way, make way for King Scarecrow. Nothing can stop me. <clears throat> Once I'm inside, that is. Darn it. <clears throat> well, look who's here. I thought we'd see the last of you. I command you to take your unroyal feet off my royal throne. You are trespassing here. Leave that once. Oh, how forceful. But save your breath. It's my throne now, Strawhead. And as queen, I could have you arrested for treason for being so fresh. Oh, yeah? Try it. You may have an army, but I've got a secret weapon that is guaranteed by my supplier to get you out of here in no time flat. I didn't want it to come to this, but you've left me no choice. Banning laughter, making my people grumble all day. Passing laws against smiling and not allowing anyone to work the field. You're so silly, you're dangerous. <laughs> silly, am I? We all like a little friend. I'm not silly enough to let you just walk in and take over. <laughs> <laughs>
That stuff was heavy. See anything, Dad? Will you stop calling me that? <sighs> They're still out there, but nobody's volunteering. They'll still come after us, though, volunteers or not. Wait, I just thought of a way to get out of here. It's crazy, but it just might work. Want to hear it? Sure. Oh, of course. Sounds like she's not having much luck. Better disappear before she orders me to fight. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, a beautiful day. <laughs> a volunteer at last. Eager to do battle, are we? Well, uh, uh, oh. We build wings, attach them to something that can carry our weight, <laughs> then we bring it all to life with the powder and fly away. <laughs> <sighs> Your new brain gets better with each passing thought. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Shall we begin? Uh -huh. Hooray! We're about to fly away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scarecrow, you really are quite wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's easy to be wonderful when you have friends like mine to save Dorothy. Uh, don't you think it's rather rash launching a frontal assault like this? Shouldn't I scout things out first? And, no! Uh, get in there! Uh, right! Full speed ahead, Jack! You stand guard at the door so you can warn us if they're coming! Right! Horse, you stay with Jack in case we have to get out fast! Tin Man, you'll supervise the construction! Oh boy! I get to build a flying machine! Don't just stand there! Overrun their defenses! Yeah! Go get them what for! What? Listen. Uh, What's that? The ghost of the throne room. Huh? Shh, 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 shh. Ooh. Huh? There really is a ghost in there, and I thought I was making Ooh. it up. Ooh. There it is again! <laughs> Something's blocking the door. Push harder! The door is stuck! I can't get in! You useless excuse for a munchkin! Get out of my royal sight! Just passing through! Oh my wounded dignity! Ah, the fool was right! They have blocked the door! Well, I don't have time to fool around! Use your magic on it, Bobby! You're dealing with the greatest witch in Oz. I don't do doors, honey. You got that? What you need is a locksmith. <laughs> Big help you are. Oh, hear that, Quinella? Our new partner doesn't do doors, so we'll have to show her how. Watch closely, Mommy. Yeah. 
you win this round tip, my boy, but I'll get you and my powder. You just wait. Threats, threats, threats. When's that hide gonna do something? If she won't, Ginger will. I've never seen her so steam. I heard that. <sighs> Maybe there is something I can do. They haven't escaped yet, you mark my words. <sighs> Well, she doesn't give up, I'll give her that much. Let's see if she does any better this time. <laughs> <laughs> Girls! I may not be the brightest, but how can Mom be who's here? Stop a flying bed that is way over there. I've heard yet, Tip. Right. Let's look for a good spot. Right. I can't see a thing through all these clouds, can you? No, we'll have to wait for a clearing. Well, keep looking for a field or any place flat. Huh? I must be seeing things. I saw something flat, but it was moving. No, I see it too, Scarecrow. A big flat field flying right underneath us. Come on, Big Jam. Fields don't fly. <gasps> uh, we got trouble. Trouble? Where? Look, are those wings? Right, the dragon, we crashed and wait, I'm sitting on the edge of a cliff. Hello, anyone around? Oh, ah, someone's Jackie. calling for help. Jack! Don't worry, Jack, I'm coming! <laughs> Stop shaking! You're tipping it! I can't get it! Pull, Tim out of pull! What a way to wake up! I'll just pull you in a little further. <sighs> Oh, thank you, Tin Man. You saved me. That's all right, Jack. But what's become of the others? Have you seen them at all? No, I haven't. We must have been thrown an awfully long way when we crashed. But where are the others? You! Mama! I hear voices. Dorothy! Tim! Is that you? Yes, Tin Man. We're in the cave. We're fine. But where are the others? Jack's out here with me! So only Scarecrow and Horse are still missing! Oh, all right then, we'll look for them in here. Oh, how's the nurse bed? Do you think it can still fly? Don't know yet! It was pretty busted up in the crash! We can worry about the bed later. We better just find the others. Oh, I hope Scarecrow and Horse are all right. Well, better see about this bed, Jack. Seen the moose head? It's over there. I don't know the winning anywhere! That's the horse! Where are you, horse? Come on, it came from over there! Here, horse! Follow the sound of our voices! Here we are! There he is! Horse, wait! Where are you going? Come here, boy! Who's there? Horse, is that you? Oh, thank goodness. Horse, get help. I'm stuck. Yes, I'm glad to see you too, but I need help. Oh. He was leading us to Scarecrow. Oh, good boy, Horse. Oh, Scarecrow, am I glad to see you? I'll be glad. 
glad to see you too when you get me out of here. Oh, sorry. Oh, poor Scarecrow. Don't worry, we'll have you out in a jiffy. Tip, give me a hand. <laughs> That's it. Back a little further, Jack. A little further. And dragon eggs do look like jewels. Maybe I'm not joking. For instance, look at this rock. It could be the fossil of the dragon's nose. Look closely. This ridge here looks like a nostril and... Fossils don't snort.
comfort. Huh? <gasps> What's wrong, Dorothy? Oh. Huh? Oh no, it's coming after us. Oh, and look how big he is. <laughs> He's flying much faster than we are. What are we gonna do? Oh. just a few minutes after they escaped from the dragon. But which Glinda, we've come to ask for my help. Ginger and that dreadful Mombi have taken over the Emerald City. How does she know that? I make it my business to know anything that might threaten my kingdom's safety. Now, you created a flying bed with magic powder, escaped and came here. Absolutely right! Don't look so astonished, Scarecrow. I know more of your kingdom than you do yourself. <gasps> then you... You know how important it is to free the people of the Emerald City. Mm-hmm. Then you'll help us win back Scarecrow's throne so that things can go back to the way they were before, Glinda? No. <gasps> Dorothy, I have no objection to helping you rid the Emerald City of Ginger and Mombi. But I will not restore Scarecrow to the throne. But why? Because of information that has recently come into my possession concerning the royal family of the Kingdom of Oz. Huh? Dorothy, the wizard ruled Oz when you first arrived, but before the wizard, Oz was ruled by its royal family. Yes, but the last king of Oz died without an heir, so the wizard took over than I did with your blessing. Very true, and you would still have my blessing if I still felt your claim to the throne was justified. You mean my claim to the throne isn't justified because of this new information you mentioned to Dorothy? That's correct, Scarecrow. You see, when the king died, I thought he was the last. Huh? Wait a minute. Are you saying that you thought the king died without an heir, but you found out there was one and that the throne should be his? Hmm? Yes. Who is this heir to the throne and why didn't anybody know about him? The heir isn't a boy, it's a girl. Her name is Princess Ozma. And she disappeared soon after her father died under mysterious circumstances. No one's seen her since? No. Oh, how awful. But you found out she's alive? Is she somewhere here in Oz? Yes, I believe she is, Dorothy. You believe she is, don't you know? All I know is the wizard himself made her vanish. That's what I've learned. <sighs> I'm convinced she's alive, but as yet I've not been able to find her. 
Silence, please. The crystal ball is ready to reveal what it knows about this affair. Oh, crystal ball, you who see all in your white glow, show what you know. Greetings. Look through Oz, tame and wild. Show where the wizard left the child. The good witch Glinda commands you. It, it can't be. That's Mommy's house. Look, someone's walking up to the door. Is that the wizard? Yes, Dorothy. Oh, look, Mommy's at the door. The wizard's giving her some... That's Ozma. Yes, Tip. You mean the wizard gave Princess Ozma to Mombi? Oh, the poor kid. I can't believe the wizard could be so mean. He wasn't evil by nature, Dorothy. Like many others, he tasted power, then couldn't live without it. Oh, Mombi of all people. Oh boy, if I got some questions, I'd like to ask Mombi the next time I see her, don't you? You're darn right I do. She must know where Princess Ozma is right now. Let's go get her, Glinda. Places to go and people to see. Magic Chariot, come to me. <gasps> to the Emerald City. Emerald City to deal with Ginger and Mombi. But Glinda explains that she won't interfere unless it's absolutely necessary. Her main concern is finding Ozma, heir to the throne of Oz. Told her before when the potion told me. Should have told us what? Oh, me and my big mouth. Once they know Glinda's coming, they'll go to pieces. Come on, Mombi, out with it, or we'll take you and your pots and potions and throw you out the front gate. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I think Dorothy went to get help from Glinda. You mean Glinda the Good Witch of the South? I'm afraid so, yeah. Nobody else in Oz can help them. And when they left, that bed was flying due south as fast as it could carry. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Glinda's powerful. Think she will help them? Oh, sure. She helps any good person who's in trouble. She makes me sick. She's more powerful than you are, isn't she? she? Oh, will you show a little faith in me? I have spells she's never dreamed of. Besides, she only uses her magic when she really has to. You leave her to me! The moose bed lands at the main gate, and Scarecrow quickly rallies the people to march on the royal palace. Find her again. You're right, Dorothy. 
We simply have no choice. All right, Ginger, we'll play your little game of hide and seek. If we find Mommy, you leave and she answers our questions. That's the agreement. Of course, if you don't find her, I stay and Mommy stays with me. Promise? Hmm? No one sets foot inside this palace till all of you have promised. You don't find her, you leave both of us alone. Otherwise, the deal's off. Huh? All right, Ginger, we promise. <laughs> the search begins. It'll save time if we split up to look for it. So, Tin Man, you go with Dorothy. Right? And Tip, you go with Jack. Uh -huh. Right. And I'll go alone. Right, let's get started. <laughs> Dad! She's napping. <laughs> Will you get your hair out of my face, Ginger? Huh? I just heard someone speak. Quiet, everyone. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Anything, Dorothy? Shh. <laughs> I guess I imagined it. you to sprinkle pepper on it. Come on now, Jack. I want to see it sneeze. I think your brain's gone soft with all the searching, Scarecrow. Flowers don't sneeze. He's right. Flowers don't sneeze. Your brain's gone soft with all this searching. There's nothing wrong with my brain, Ginger, I assure you. Nothing wrong with yours either, Mombi. Clever disguising yourself as a flower on Ginger's dress. <gasps> See about that. The pepper's on the mantle behind you, Jack. Huh? Uh, ah, there it is. Wait, I. Ah! No! Keep away from me! Help! Here, Ginger! Ah! 
you sure had us fooled there for a while, but now we'd like to ask you a few questions, ma'am. All right, so you found me. Three cheers for you, and who cares? That doesn't mean I'm gonna tell you anything about Ozma. <laughs> huh? But that was the deal. About you. You'd answer our questions. That was Ginger's deal. Hey, come on, Mommy. Play along, and maybe they'll let us go. You keep out of this. We're through, Ginger. Huh? You were only useful to me when you had your army. Watch it, Mommy. Oh, threaten me, will you? What are you gonna do? Bet your eyelashes at me? <laughs> Mombi. You want to lecture me? You'll have to catch me first! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Evil flies, the eagle skies, take wing! <gasps> huh? Oh! Hey! What a great trick! Yes, I feel much better now. Glinda's here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ruby's putting up quite a fight. Figures, as soon as I'm out of the picture, her magic starts to work. <laughs> catch, catch what you can't see, Glinda! See you later! <laughs> oh, I'm a sneaky. Oh. By my crystal ball, you see. Oh! Huh. Well, okay, he came! But only for tea! Huh? We had little cakes! Little cakes? Oh, oh yeah! Little cakes! Can't remember for the life of me what we said, though! Hmm, something about sorcery? Or was it the high cost of new? She's lying! Yes. No, no, I'm not lying! Wait, I am lying! Force a habit, I suppose! Sorry! Uh, Listen, can I go? I think I'm getting a cold. <sighs> uh, what you gonna do? Mombi, you are bound with my golden rope. It's magic and can tell when you're lying. It's loosely tied. But from now on, every time you lie, it will cinch itself tighter and tighter around your waist. So I think it might be a good idea for you to start telling us the truth, don't you? <laughs> I remember now. The lizard wanted a potion made. Get this thing off me! It hurts so much! If you tell the truth, it will loosen up again. It's all up to you. Now, will you cooperate? Yes! I'll 
Say the truth, I promise! Just close it, will ya? I will, but remember the truth or else. Oh, you made your point, okay? For all! Very well. Rope of gold, loosen your hold! Come on, come on, early enough, will ya? <sighs> Where was I? Oh, yes, the night the wizard came. At first, I thought he was alone, but he was carrying a baby. He asked me to care for it, but to never reveal the child's true identity. Princess Ozma, heir to the throne of Oz. Then he left as quickly as he'd come. I never saw him again. And you did as he asked? Oh, yes, I cared for the brat. Pretty little thing, but she ate like a horse. What happened to her, though? Is she all right? Oh, in her own way. In her own way? What's that supposed to mean? I don't get it, Daddy. Shh. What is that supposed to mean? Is she all right or isn't she? Oh, yeah, she's fine. Doesn't look the same, though. You see, after I took her in, it wasn't long before half of Oz turned out to search for her. So I played it safe and turned her into a boy. Huh? Huh? Simple little spell, but very effective. Threw them right off the track. Well, I'm not surprised, but if she's a he now, we're looking for a prince, not a princess. Hmm. Tip, you live with Mombi. Ever see any princes around? Mm -mm. Me neither, but I only lived with her for an hour and a half. Listen, seems to me that if I grew up with Mombi and all those... Now, hold on, Tip, hold on. We don't want to go jumping to conclusions. Now, let's see. If Tip, who's a boy, was raised by Mobby, who's a witch, and no prince ever lived with them, we can't consider that confirmed, can't we? Tip is of sound mind and memory and so on. Mm -hmm. Then if Tip is the only boy to live with Mobby, and Ozma was changed to a boy, there seems to be only one conclusion we can come to. <laughs> that Princess Ozma, the baby girl left secretly by the wizard with Mobby and later changed to a boy, is none other than <gasps> Is this true, Mommy? Huh? Huh? Oh, Daddy! You're a princess! Huh? Now, wait a second. This is impossible. I mean, I don't feel like a princess. She's lying. I'm a boy and I always have been. No, Tip, you are Princess Ozma. If Mombi weren't telling the truth, the golden rope would have tightened its grip. But I don't want to be a princess. I want to be a boy and go on having adventures with all of my friends. I don't want to have to be the queen someday. Couldn't I just stay the way I am? It's okay with me, Tip. I'd gladly take your place. Try to get used to the idea. You'll still have adventures, and Oz needs its rightful ruler on the throne. It's true, Tip. Scarecrow was a good king, but he wasn't born to it. The throne really belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And boy or girl, Tip, take it from me. What really counts is having a good heart, and that you got. Yes, and a good brain, too. We've all seen that. Come to think of it, I'm a bit annoyed with my brain right now. I should have spotted your royal qualities a long time ago, Tip. You'll get used to being a girl, Tip. After all, you were born one. You'll get used to being a ruler, too. If I could do it, anyone can. Oh, I know this is difficult for you. As far back as you can remember, you have been known as Tip, not Ozma. As a lowly witch's apprentice, not as the heir to the throne of Oz. But royal blood flows in your veins, and I can see that you'd make a fine ruler, every bit as wise as your father before you. But the choice is yours. Do you wish to remain Tip, or shall I break Mombi's spell and turn you back into Ozma, Princess of Oz? They moved to the throne room to perform the magical transformation. Tip is about to fulfill his destiny. Well, Tip, if you're ready, I'll break the spell. And when you awake, your life as Tip will be just a memory. You will become Princess Ozma, ruler of Oz under my guidance and its future queen. Prince or pauper, queen or maid, magic with your form has played on my command. 
the spell shall break, and your true shape you will take. have some unfinished business to attend to. Mombi, to be certain you can cause no more trouble, I have cast a spell to wipe out your powers and make you a loyal subject. Ah, you can't! I, I still want to conquer! Your Highness! Oh, oh, oh. What an honor! Wish Ozma well and promise to keep the peace. I wish you all the best, Your Highness. And don't worry, I won't cause any more trouble. I'm going to retire, learn to knit, do a little macrame. That'll do. Ginger, your turn. No, as former queen and constant troublemaker, I won't do it. You were never the queen. You crowned yourself. Now do as you're told and kneel. No, you can't make me. I, I... I'll be a good girl from now on, Princess Ozma. <laughs> from ruthless villains to model citizens, magic truly can work wonders when used properly, of course. Mombi, you are free to go. You too, Ginger. Return to your homes and live quietly. And now you've all been so brave. What wishes do you have? My heart longs to return home to the land of the Winkies with Scarecrow. Tin Man has offered to let me live in his palace. I want to stay with Dad. I mean, uh, Princess Ozma. I'll sure miss getting to call Dad, Dad, though. <laughs> I'd like to go home if it's possible. Yes, poor Dorothy. She dropped her magic shoes in Kansas. She has no way of getting back now unless you can help her get home, Glinda. That's right. Oh, I can help you all. Oh. Oh, Dorothy, you will awake in your bed in Kansas. You two will fly to Tin Man's palace. Oh, thank you, Glinda. Yes, thank you. Ready? Oh, Dorothy! Hey. Scarecrow! Tin Man! Goodbye! Goodbye! returns home safely to Kansas, leaving Princess Ozma to rule the land of Oz. Oh, I miss Dorothy already. I hope she'll come back to visit Oz soon. Oh. Dorothy will return and be reunited with her friends for more adventures in Oz. Dream.